Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Danielle Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. Now let's go to history. Thank you, Danielle. Today in history, on April 14th, 1912, the RMS Titanic struck an iceberg just before midnight on 14th April. Now let's go to Nathaniel to see what to do today if you're bored and stuck indoors. Hello, Patriots family. Welcome to Things to Do If You're Bored. Today we have a new activity for you to try at home if you're bored to take a break and relieve the online learning stress. Okay, so for today's activity, you can make a flower using pencil, pens, or marker. This is how. Take a sheet of paper, cut it into a square, and then you fold that square into a triangle. You do that three times to get three triangles. After that, you take scissors and cut a petal shape out of it. After you cut the petal shapes, cut off the tips of them and then open them up so that you can cut out first one petal then two, and then three out of the last one. After you do that, you take a small thing and wrap up the petals inside of it. Do it three times for the three ones that you have. After that, you take glue and glue a piece of them so that they would stay in place and not come loose. Then you glue the petals on top, one on top of the other, to put them together. After that, you roll the petal corners so it'll give a more realistic look. After you do that, roll the small petals. And then you glue the tips of the big ones and put them into each other, cascading from the biggest one to the smallest. After that, you take your pen and you stick it through the middle of the flower. And then you could take tape or ribbon and apply it to the flower to make it look like an actual flower. After you've done that, you can tie another piece of it into a bow shape to give it an extra touch. 
Then you have finished your flower. you have know how to make this. They can be great gifts for your family member or a friend. I hope you enjoyed this and stay creative. Now let's go back to Danielle. Thank you Nathaniel. Additionally, this week is Spirit Week. Today is Meet My Pet Day. So this is my pet, Ralphie. Here Ralph. Wednesday was Crazy Hair Day and Wacky, classes and wacky Glasses Day. Thursday is Color War Day, and Friday is Healthcare Appreciation Day. Now let's go to Mr. Radier's vocabulary word of the day. Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mr. Radier, and I hope you're all off to a very terrific Tuesday. Today, I'm joining you with Radier's vocabulary. Today's vocabulary word is frontier. A frontier represents uncharted territory. It could be a remote piece of land or a new field of study, but if someone calls it the frontier, you are challenged to explore it. So today's vocabulary word is frontier. I challenge you to use frontier in your vocabulary and in a sentence today. Everybody have a great Tuesday. Thank you, Mr. Radier. That was great. Now let's go to Weather with Ernst. Thank you, Danielle. Today's weather in Perth Pines, Florida is forecast to be 93 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly sunny. Now let's go back to Danielle. Thank you, Ernst. In admin announcements, teachers, please be on your Emoto page to welcome your students in in every morning. Attendance must be taken at some point each day. And lastly, teachers, please don't forget to give your scholars positive hero points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats, Miss Rosado, Mr. Santiago, Miss Merkel, Miss Milholm, and Miss Kuttner. You had the correct answer to the trivia question, which was, which country is responsible for giving us pizza and pasta? The correct answer to the trivia question was Italy. <clears throat> now for today's trivia question. Who famously sang the song, The Rainbow Connection? Once again, who famously sang the song, The Rainbow Connection? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order to get your responses reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day.